So first up, we are going to do 21.41, just to kind of see how Coulomb's Law works when you're in more than one direction. So this problem says that three negative point charges lie along a line as shown in figure E2141. So that looks like this. Got the point charges chilling over there. They are eight centimeters away from each other. Do, 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 do. And then we have point P over here. This guy is negative five microcoulombs. This guy is negative five microcoulombs. This guy is negative two microcoulombs. And point P is six centimeters away from here. So note that this is not to scale because I don't know how to draw. Okay, so we wanna find the magnitude and direction of the electric field that this combination of charges produces at point P, which lies six centimeters from the negative two microcoulomb charge measured perpendicular to the line connecting the three charges. So we want to find the E field in simpler speak. Okay, so first things first, it's always helpful to draw which way that electric field is going to go. So you can get an idea of what you should be looking for as you're adding your different components. So negative charges, negative point charges, have electric fields that come inward, radially towards them. Do, 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 do. And similarly, positive point charges have electric fields that go radially outward. So in this case, these negative point charges at point P, if we connect the two with a line, the electric field from that guy is gonna point along that line towards the negative charge. Similarly for this guy, he's gonna to point towards that charge and same for a negative two microcoulomb one. But I'm gonna draw it smaller because I didn't draw this picture big enough, my bad. So those are the three electric fields that we're looking out for. So just by looking at this, you always wanna take into account different symmetry arguments that are gonna make your life a lot easier so you don't have to do as much work. So here we have a negative five microcoulomb charge, a negative five microcoulomb charge. They're the exact same distance away in the vertical and horizontal directions. So by symmetry and by using the same numbers, these things, these two diagonal force electric fields are going to have the same magnitude. So we know that they're gonna have the same magnitude. Okay, so now because they have the same magnitude and they're pointing in the same direction, we can make the reasonable assumption that these two Y components are gonna cancel each other out because one's pulling up, one's pulling down. So our Y components are gonna cancel. So all we have to do is figure out the X components and then add them all together. So let's do that. So the electric field due to a point charge, it's given by Coulomb's law, has KQ over R squared R hat, and it can also be written as KQ over R cubed R vector. These two versions of the equation are exactly the same because R hat is the unit vector that points towards the place that you care about. And unit vectors, if you remember from math class, are just the regular vector divided by the magnitude. So you can see that if we plug that in over here, we get R vector with an extra factor of R right here. Same thing. It's a matter of convenience which ones you decide to use. So like for you guys, you may recognize that this is a three, four, five triangle. So you know the angles are 53 and 27. You might remember that from geometry. If you're like me, you don't because you know, I don't remember numbers, my memory sucks. 
However, I do know how far away these things are from each other because they write that down for us. So I know my R vector. So let's look at this charge here. Our R vector always points from the charge to the place that we care about. And this actually goes all the way over, but this is a small picture. I can't draw all that stuff on there. So for charge one, our R vector, if we write it in this notation, we're gonna write it in a bunch. If I start here, I'm gonna go over six centimeters and down eight centimeters. So my R vector is six centimeters in the X direction and negative eight centimeters in the Y direction. This can also be written in I, J, K notation with some hats, some I hats and some J hats. So those are exactly the same, just is just X, Y. Now the magnitude of my R vector, like I said, if you recognize it's a three, four, five triangle, you can say, oh, it's 10 centimeters, but let's just go through it anyway. So this is a triangle, to find the magnitude of a vector, it's just like finding the hypotenuse of the triangle. You take your a squared plus your b squared is equal to c squared. Whereas in this case, our a squared is x, our b squared is y. So if we do that out, we get 36 squared plus 64 squared is 100, and the square root of that is 10 centimeters. Okay. So our electric field for this guy up here is going to be K Q over R cubed times R vector. So if we plug these in, K is 8.988 times 10 to the 9 Newton meters squared per coulomb squared. Our charge is negative 5 microcoulombs, which is 10 to the negative 6 regular coulombs, over r cubed, which was 10 centimeters cubed. Oh, but don't forget to convert your units, or you're going to get yourself in trouble. So that's 0 0.10 meters cubed, and then times r vector. Now from our symmetry arguments, we said our y components are going to cancel out. So we don't have to worry about the y component, we can just worry about the x component. So then we can call this e in the x direction. And then over here, we would just multiply by the x component. So that would be our 6 centimeters. Or 0 0.06 meters. So if we plug that into our handy dandy calculator, assuming I know how to operate a calculator like a regular human being, we get negative 2.7 times 10 to the 6 newtons per coulomb. So our negative sign, as a double check, is telling us that it's going to be pointing towards the left, Whoops. and the x direction. Don't forget your hats. I totally forgot my hats. My bad. X direction. X direction. Our minus sign comes from our charge. We're going to the left. We're going to the left in our picture. Awesome. Cool. So, like we said before, from our beautiful picture, these two are going to be the same. So we can say that this is the electric field from one and from three. If we call this guy one, this guy two, this guy three. All right, so now for the other one. So number two is pretty easy peasy because it's just in a straight line. So electric field from number two is gonna be K Q over R squared. I'm gonna use the R squared version this time with the R hat because I already know that it's pointing in the x direction. I can look at my picture, yo, it's pointing in the x direction. It's just going to be x hat. Don't have to worry about angles or anything like that. 
So in this case, it's more convenient to just use the R-squared version. So here, we can just plug in our numbers. K is 8.988 tenths ten to the 9 Newton meters squared per coulomb squared. Q is minus 2 micro 10 to the negative 6 coulombs over R squared. So here, our R is just how far away we are, which is 6 centimeters or 0 0.06 meters to the squared. Plug that into our handy dandy calculator. And we get minus 5.0 times 10 to the 6 newtons per coulomb. So now we have the x component of the electric field for all three. So our total electric field, we just add them all together. So E1 vector plus E2 vector plus E3 vector. There's going to be two of these. So I'm just going to put a 2 in front. Minus 2.7 times 10 to the 6 newtons per coulomb in the i hat direction. Ah, oh, shit, I forgot my i hat over here again. Minus 5.0 times 10 to the 6 i hat newtons per coulomb. And that gives us. Clamp. How about I punched in the right number? One point zero four times ten to the seven Newtons per Coulomb in the negative i hat direction so this is always a good place to double check that it's going in the direction that you expect it to so from our beautiful picture up here if we add up all these little arrows we expect to be going straight to the left because of symmetry because this guy is as strong as this guy so their y's cancel so if we look at our answer we're going to the left and we're straight up in the x direction sweet